Dressed by Press Design. Thank you for joining me today. It's Monday, July 1st. I'm doing this video a little earlier in case I'm not able to tomorrow because I might have to go away. So, last week I forgot to um, say my thank yous. So I'm going to zip through this double week list. Thank you so much for your kind comments, purchases, reviews. She Wolf, Deborah, Rodka, Terry, Laura, Brenda, Tapsy, Palachi, Cindy, Paddle Girl, Mandy, Christina, R. Bolton, J. Kroll, and El Marie. Thank you so much for your sweet email to me, and that really wasn't necessary for you to make the purchases, but I appreciate it so much. Um, I did not mind doing that at all, since you could not get the product on Shopify. But um, show and tell, this is the collector. And um, I think it's 30 pages. And there are all kinds of little interesting little ephemera here. Stamps, labels, maps, all kinds of things. And I just printed one, two, three, four. So that's, that's Shopify only. If you didn't realize, I do have two shops, Shopify products are usually much bigger because, and they will not fit on Etsy, but on Etsy, I did create five collage pages of this, and I just grabbed the first five, I did create five pages of this. I believe this is 40 pages, maybe 50 pages on Shopify. This is Naturalist Ephemera. Um, I did create five pages on Etsy and I think this one is 30 pages on Shopify. And I did create five pages of the birds, naturalist birds, and I think it is also uh, at least 20 pages on Shopify, but I can't remember because they're all, the minimum I think is 20 pages for those particular collections, but there's a mini, mini on Etsy in the collage papers section. Um, I have to dif differentiate the product list offerings as much as I can, otherwise no one will ever go to Shopify. Why, I don't know, but that's just the way it is. So today we're going to make this um, double pocket insert. From Septeria, who else? So cute. And it holds a little tab, tag, card, and it has a front pocket and that little pocket there. You can um, insert it this way. You can insert it this way. I'm sure you can also probably glue it if you would desire, but actually what I might do with something like this is hinge it. Um, this particular one is going to be six inches, but you once you learn you can make these any size. So you could do three down there and tuck a tag in the back, tuck another tag there, or just insert it in a pocket or use it for 
sending happy mail or giving away ephemera, however you desire. So what you'll need is a 12 by 12 and I'm using a double sided but I'm also going to show you a single sided and since I already made one with this pattern I'm going to use this pattern today and I have it um, cut in half please tell me that's half yeah close enough and um, you're gonna you'll get two of these envelopes from one 12 by 12 so I have one cut in half you'll need a scoreboard and as I said I'm using double sided and we're gonna put that at the 12 inch side and we're going to score at four and eight and that's it and then if you have a pattern um, you're going to let it be if it's a directional pattern you're going to let it be as is and then you're going to decide which one you want for your front okay if, if, if whatever you want for the front is face down okay and since mine will be upside down I'm going to go this way so it's right side up okay so then this one goes back and this one comes forward <laughs> How simple is that? Okay, let me just get these scored or burnished. Evened up. Make sure everything's nice and flush and everything is going the way I want it. Okay, then. We're going to take this side and fold it forward as much as you want. I'm trying to get it fairly close to my first one. Burnish that. Okay. So then our middle piece, our middle section of the three sections is what gets the notch. And I'm going to move mine up to the top. She had hers in the center. And I'm moving mine up. Okay. So I'm going to glue this down. You can make it a tuck if you want. Or you can keep it straight and notch notch the front too if you don't have to bend it over like this but I think it's cute and then I was thinking what you could do is put a little um, rivet and hole in that little corner and dangle something from it. Little charm. That would be very cute. Like 
Okay, so you see how that is. And then there's our back. So first we're going to glue this. And if you want, you can glue this. I'll glue this. And if you want, you can glue this too to keep this a top insert. But I left mine open because it just gives a little more little more room in there. So I left mine open. And I'm going to leave this one open as well. Okay. Just put a clip on there for one second. And Suzanne, thank you for the inquiry about my brother. Um, he's out of ICU. He's in the nursing home getting, hopefully, um, everything he, every, therapy to um, become mobile again. And um, I don't know how long he'll be in there. They, they're not quite sure what happened. He was extremely dehydrated. My brother has a lot of health problems. Um, he's on at least, I don't know, five or six meds. Um, he can't use his arm very well, if at all. And um, they're not quite sure what happened. And they're not quite sure how long he had been there because he, his aide at that time only came in three times a week. So, could have been a day, it could have been two days. But he had a lot of <clears throat> injuries from trying. Either he had a seizure or um, trying to get up and not able to get up. But he was not conscious when his aid found him. So okay now we're going to glue this other pocket and of course we're going to glue it along here and here. And one thing I would like to say is if you want max room you can tape this edge, this bottom edge, which I would probably do. <laughs> not today but that's probably what I would do to and then you might get lucky and get a normal size photo in there four by six so I've been going Oh geez, I did the wrong one. Oh well, I'm going to do this one. I uh, have been going over every day to feed his dogs. And make sure his house is secure. He has a... Uh, He has a sunroom porch and they can get in and out from there and he also has a back porch. One is warm and one is cool. So they're fine. Okay. So I think these are adorable. She had hers all decorated, of course. I'm just going to use this card again. 
hopefully my glue set. So there's your little pocket. And there's your little front pocket. And you can go up, give it away like this. Horizontal or vertical. I think this would look so cute just in a journal pocket going this way. And then put a little tag in there. Super cute. And once you get this fold down, if we had time, I would show you, but let me see where we are, 16. Um, I would show you how quick you could make these any size with book page. I mean, you can make them all the time. So I'm going to do, do this one a single sided just to show you and I think it will work because I've already done it yeah see I've already done it okay 12 inch side four and eight And then now if you if you did it the way you do this one you would have two blank spaces you would have to cover but I am going to fold this one in instead of back and then we only have one space it's white. Now you could stamp on there. You could try to find it. I know I just had it. Oh, you could take a little piece, cover that side. You could cut out a little piece and have a white border. So instead of notching our center one, which is what we would do, and make our pocket like that, I'm going to flip it in. And make our pocket make our notch on the knot on the, the this panel not this panel okay I hope this is making sense but once you do it you'll you'll figure it out and this, I think I can get glued down with just um, this magazine with just um, glue stick because it's just regular scrapbook paper. You can make a bunch of these with those scripts from last week too. Wait, did I do that right? I probably did something wrong. Yes, I did. I glued the wrong side. Oh my god. Okay, well I guess I will be putting glue on this then. Yes, I did. Sorry. I can't even tell you how scattered I am at the moment trying to do my daughter's things we're not even finished finalizing all of her college things 
And then this happened. So I have been and finishing up a project for work that had to be done by the end of June. I'm going to try to make that a little different. My wish would be that it was a lot different, but we'll just do the best we can, and I really don't need to waste that much. Let me put a mark on here so I can cut some more off. I don't need to use that much paper on that inside. I, I like this. I like this pattern. I've been hoarding it. I always hoard the plaids and versatile patterns. They can go with anything, and um, any season, practically. So I'm sure that's going to need more glue. Okay, well, I'm showing you how to... Um, Get that triangle covered. Okay. Well, hopefully I can still see my fold. Of course I can't. Can't see it at all on the front. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to have a little border because I just folded it. It's okay. Let me cut a little edge here off. 23. Now I'm going to fold the right side. <laughs> or glue the right side. Okay. We're very cool here today. I was freezing last night. I thought for sure the heat was going to come on. But it didn't. Come on, glow. Don't give me any problems today. Now, is it because it's humid? What's going on? I don't know if these glues. No way near Scotch Create. No way near Scotch Create. But sorry, I'm not paying seven dollars for a stick of glue. Let me try this one. And that's supposed to be strong bond crafter's glue. Okay. Let's get this glued. Okay, I'm gonna glue I'm gonna glue um I don't even have to glue that one because it will be closed when I go up like this. Probably what I am going to do is put 
put one of these in there from my other paper. So I can hide that. Whoops, you don't go there. Okay, so I'm just, sorry, I'm just going to glue the left side. Of this. Come on, quit moving. Okay. And then another left side. Of this. And that's how I do it using single sided paper. But once you get this, you just need to make three equal sides so you don't really, you don't really need a scoreboard. Just get your three equal sides and then fold it as shown and there's your single sided double insert pocket. That's cute too. And this one is, of course, a little less bulky. Okay, where are we? 20, 28. Okay, everyone, um, there you go. Double insert pocket. Great for, it's, I will say it's quite flat. You wouldn't have any problem mailing that. This one's going to look better in here. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, that is cute. You just see that in it. I don't think I have a tall pocket in here. Oh wait, no, that's not a pocket. Oh yes I do. Yes I do. Doesn't that look cute? I don't have a tag, of course. Put a tag behind there. Another one in there. And a shorter card in there. Super cute. I know I say that all the time. I'll have to come up with another adjective. Okay, so thank you for your time everyone. This will be early unless I um, get it done and just schedule it for tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But either way, I'll see you next time. You have a great week, everyone. Thanks again for your kind comments and um, best wishes and concern. I'll see you next time. Bye.